Hey. So, um, trying to get some of these rust issues, I, I, um, videos and, and whatnot, uh, updated. And, um, so I just, uh, just decided that, uh, that first video I made back in, in June, I'd, I'd like to actually get under here with the camera and show you guys why you don't buy cars from Michigan. So if you remember in this video, which I think I actually might just put them together because I haven't posted it yet, but you remember earlier in the video that the floor had rusted out and so I've repaired that um, uh, by uh, and exceeded the rust's hole by a few inches on either side. That seems to be okay. My carpet's a little bit wet. But one thing I'm having a little bit of trouble with is this right there. This is the that gray you see is the foam <laughs> backing on the uh, firewall ins sound insulation. So this one's going to be a real pain to fix if I do decide to fix it. But uh, kind of looking down the rest of the car <laughs> yeah, they use very thin sheet metal to build these cars or the cancer is taking hold but this is you know, I don't know if you really can see that on TV on the camera but there we go that metal is just kind of kind of bending so it's either really thin or just rusted away but one major concern I have if this car ever pukes the transmission is getting this cross member out. Now I don't think I would actually spend the money to have the transmission overhauled if need be or do it myself. I would just send it to the crusher. So anyway, they sold a lot of cars outside of the rust belt northeast and along coastal areas and well it might cost you a little more to get a clean rust free car definitely worth it definitely worth it I think uh, this is this would be a, a car that would give pisser nightmares <laughs> either that or put his kids through college a couple of times Shaft is rusty. I hope that doesn't break. <laughs> the um, spare tire well over there behind that uh, tire um, on the sort of left hand side of your screen is pretty well rusted out. Um, the wheel well itself is, is fairly rusted, but not as bad as I thought it would be. Strangely enough, though, these rockers are rock solid. Absolutely rock solid the entire length. There might be a little surface rest there, and a little, but that pinch weld, that's solid. I don't get it. I do not understand how this car could be in such bad shape in some places and utterly solid <laughs> in others. It's, it's, it just boggles my mind. Anyway, I'm going to make my point again. <laughs> Spend the money and get a rust-free car. Don't, don't, uh, don't buy something dangerous like this. Speaking of safety, this brake line blew out right here. And so I, I had to patch that. <clears throat> that wasn't fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe.